All right, we are back officially with part two of My Dear Hatchet Man. And here's where we left off with Alan, much, much simpler man, deciding that he was going to show us something nice. It may not come as a surprise to you, but my favorite animals are deers. Is that why you called me doe eyes before? Do I remind you of a deer, Alan? Alan stayed quiet, a little taken aback by my question. However, another sound stopped him from responding. He got lucky. Huh, they're new. Another deer emerged from the wood, joining in. I couldn't deny that it was rather an adorable sight to see. Maybe it's more than one reason. What was that? It was barely a whisper. I could only manage to hear a few words from him. Nothing. Anyway, want to grab a bite to eat? I know there's a store not far from here. Why not? I am getting peckish. I... <laughs> Some of these words are words that people don't use in regular conversation, and it always just gets me. I'm like, why? Why? Look at that cute ass face. Look how cute he is. Cute. He swiftly got to his feet again, not bothering to dust off his clothes. He still had the decency to hold out his hand for me to get up. Alright, we probably won't take long if we get going now. Much like before, he kept holding my hand through the entire walk back to civilization. It stopped feeling so foreign as if I knew Alan and trusted him enough to hold hands. <sighs> this is how you die in, in horror movies. I'm just, I'm never not going to say it, but this is how you die in horror movies. I don't know why he made me feel so safe. I feel melodramatic thinking about it. Everything seemed to get blurry and I could o feel my stomach doing flips. It was then that the obnoxious bright lights of the store pulled me out of the trance. There were a couple of people in this small store, most of them adults collecting some boxes of beer. Alan started scanning around as if to memorize where everything was. His attention was immediately caught by the ice aisle, his smile brightening like a child. Pick anything you want, it's on me. How generous of him. I looked around and decided to get... Ice cream. I reached in the cold freezer, grabbing myself whatever seemed most appealing. Alan flashed me a smile. He seemed giddy that we got the same thing. Got everything? Yeah, let's go. We left the store, basking in our glorious treats. Alan proceeded to scarf his ice cream down. You're gonna choke yourself eating it like that. Then that's how I want to go. Here lies Alan, death by ice cream. He dramatically put his hand on his heart and lowered his head all gloomy. I snorted and playfully pushed him, though I could barely manage to make him lose his footing. People will think you died from lactose then. I mean, I kinda am lactose intolerant, just a bit. And you took that risk? I like to live on the edge. <sighs> no, I like that expression on him, I really do. Fuck. I don't wish to be simping, but I am. Fuck. I rolled my eyes. No, seriously, I stole five chocolate bars while nobody was looking. What? You shoplifted? He gave me a proud smirk, unzipping his coat, showing me his loot. I was dumbfounded. I couldn't fucking believe it. This man just robbed the store. How did I not even notice him? He must have been real sneaky or quick. You should see the look on your face right now. He reached in, grabbing one from his stash. You can't just... 
that isn't I said it was on me, right? They aren't gonna waste their time over some shit like a stolen candy. Besides, his fingers fidgeted with the wrapper, prying it open and taking a bite before nudging it towards me. Stolen stuff tastes better. Hesitantly, I reached over and took the tiniest bite. I couldn't explain it, but he was right. It was like the forbidden candy bar. <laughs> There are so many things I could be thinking of as a forbidden candy bar, and none of them sound great, so we're just gonna go with forbidden Hershey's, guys. Still, I feel kind of bad that he went out of his way to steal stuff from me. We go all for this. It only seemed fair, right? It was the least I could do. I motioned my ice cream towards him. At first, he gave me a confused look, but then, but then, but soon got the hint. He leaned down, accepting my offer. Unknowingly, he grazed the top of my hand as I held the ice cream. Or maybe he did. I could feel his tightening, him tightening his grip slightly as he looked up at me. I could feel the tips of my ears begin to heat up. I could not look anywhere else besides his gaze. You have good taste, doe eyes. He only smiled at me before walking away and continued to eat his forbidden chocolate bar. I... Mm, ah, the wording. <laughs> hey. I followed him, him soon after. We walked all the way back to my house, eating the stolen candy. I got some sort of cheap thrill knowing we could have potentially gotten caught and Alan shared that feeling as well. Being with him was thrilling. I didn't notice how late it had gotten since I soon reached the comfort of my bed. I felt tired, sure, but I also felt satisfied, at ease. Whatever I felt, I knew I was gonna see him again tomorrow. So that was Hatchet Man, day one, fully. Um, I don't have any more, but I like how it looks. So when more comes out, I will definitely be making a new video. And we can go and see how everything looks on day two. Or if more has already come out, I just don't have access. So I have to go and see about that. All right. You guys have fun. Bye.